Please remain seated. The show will begin in three, two. Like a bell cut. <laughs> Hey everyone, Phantom Traveler 87 here with another video. Today I will be analyzing and discussing my views on this topic. YouTube, the golden age is over? Well, let's talk about it. The pros of being a YouTuber. You have an opportunity to make tons of money. You have the support of a lot of people who watch your content and help advertise your channel. That's if you have tons of subscribers who love you. You decide the schedule when you upload and post on your channel. So there's some great advantages that come with the territory, especially if you, if you become very popular. Although the big question is, is it really worth it? Well, here are the downsides. The cons of being a YouTuber? The high demand for new content from your viewers. This does not happen all the time. It really is based on experiences because it all depends on the channel. And most people's opinions are that the YouTube algorithm is not so great. The often reoccurring issue regarding the copyright system, which a lot of YouTubers like major content creators such as Markiplier and PewDiePie has had the rather unpleasant experiences of dealing with. They address the issue heavily on their channels, and evidently there are some flaws in the system that cannot be ignored. And yes, there's the false flagging and ridiculous shadow banning happening all over YouTube. One prime example of this? Well, I will discuss that later in the video. <laughs> You know, these toys are, like, so cute. Like, oh, shit. Am I still recording? Sorry, guys. I got a little bit distracted. Well, anyway, um, sorry about that. Um, this is awkward. Uh. On to the heart of the matter. Broadcast yourself. Does it still exist? It's become undetermined, I guess, depending on the perception of a user and their purpose of how they run their channel. Because, again, everyone has their own ideas, and sometimes their experiences are a little bit different than others. Broadcast Yourself had been YouTube's motto for years, but most people claim that it died in 2017. Now, I'm going to make a quick note. I'm not too much involved in politics, and that's really not what this video was all about. But I figured, well, someone had mentioned something about it having to do with the presidential debate or election. Broadcast yourself is just one of those core problems. That just means it seems to lack thereof. So it's not that the idea or message itself is bad, but it just... Okay, I just want to make a quick note. I've had my channel for about seven years, but I've only posted content on it for about two years now. And honestly, there has never been any issues regarding any, any um, use of content that I ever had um referenced or had put into any of my video projects but honestly just a few days ago um i ran into a little minor problem regarding four of my videos which each of them were given a copyright claim for no apparent reason so there's no way for me to indicate or determine what part of any of that content was given unfair use or whatever but honestly because I have not received an email or anything, you know, just the whole thing's very confusing. So most of my videos on my channel I removed, including the ones that got the copyright claim. Gaming content on YouTube, Let's Plays, Walkthroughs, Fair Use, Is It Legal? It's often talked about a lot, and gaming content on YouTube, even Twitch, falls under a gray area. Why is that? There's some very legit reasoning for this. One, it's free advertisement for independent game developers and game companies. It's a huge marketing tool. It's so common people do it all the time. Most companies and indie developers rely on it to boost sales on their own products. So why would they be concerned and why the heck would they sue anyone for broadcasting their gameplay of the game of just any game in general? The second reason why gameplays would fall under fair use Gameplay walkthroughs and Let's Plays are often argued to be transformative content. So in what ways are gaming contents 
transformative. While they provide helpful critiques, feedback, instructions for users who are struggling to beat a level in a game, for instance. So that's just one example. Other transformative ways are commentaries, parodies, special effects, that sort of thing. It just really adds a tone and ambiance to a gameplay, honestly, which makes it a lot more fun to watch. And it really does help engage viewers to actually watch. Okay, so I've been browsing social media for insight and um, information regarding the issue with gaming and Nintendo popped up. So there's the post that I found on Reddit. So guys, give that a good read if you can. Um, honestly, I'm not too surprised, but it's honestly very unfortunate that a lot of content creators are having to go through this dilemma, and it's just, it's very unfortunate circumstance. So, honestly, it's just really sad. Absolutely tragic, you know, I, I feel, I just feel very terrible for, terrible for that person. So I mentioned earlier about an issue with shadow banning channel. So I came across this particular channel, Maddie and Elijah. Obviously sounds like very nice couple, obviously. And um, the issue they had, they were falsely accused of posting harmful and dangerous content on their channel, which they did not post any such content. But what was the fuss about? Obviously there was an issue with them having a lot of videos where they were kissing and another issue they addressed was the fact that Maddie was on her period and there was some blood shown. And I do not know why that would be such a big deal because it's, an, it's a natural thing. And, you know, I, I feel so bad for this couple because for those reasons, they should not have been punished for it. Because it's perfectly natural and it's, and it's common. None, I mean... She's on her period, and the fact that they were kissing. None of those things are harmful and dangerous. Seriously. Now, for someone who loves gaming in general, just as a small hobby, you know, these issues are very important to me. And I'm not trying to discourage or get anyone afraid of becoming a YouTuber, because if that's really your life goal, is to be a YouTuber and make money, then that's your choice. But... For if you're someone who's new to YouTube and you're want to, wanting to start your channel, I just want you to be aware of the issues that are going on. I just want you to be fully aware and alert. I'm not discouraging you. I'm not trying to scare you at all. And this the purpose of this video is not to be a bully or anything like that. I'm only doing these I'm only doing this video is because I care. I care about the gaming community. I care about my subscribers because not only are they just followers, they're human beings too. So I don't look at them as just being a number, okay? I don't. Now I'm just using this post as a reference and I will provide a link in the description below so you can read more of the article. But it says here, and this is all the way back from 2019. YouTube CEO, and there's her name that right there, published a blog post today addressing some of the creator's biggest concerns and frustrations, including copyright claims removing ads from their videos, the site's trending section not showing some of the most popular uploads, and comments being removed for family vloggers. Okay, so it also says on the article, it's clear from the blog that addressing the community's worst, most consistent complaints was a top priority in chief among those is copyright claims, copyright claims on videos, which lead to YouTubers not earning ad revenue. And it's a constant source of aggravation. Many of the situations that um, the CEO indirectly refers to in the blog post are from top creators like Jimmy Donaldson, a.k.a. Mr. Beast, who has spoken about losing out on ad revenue because a brief clip of copyrighted music was played. La da da da, and if you can see the those la that last sentence right there, will pretty much um sum that up for you. Now I took an intercept of this article because I just want to screenshot it and show it to you guys because this is very important right here. This tef this definitely validates my point. All right, a majority of the fair use factors weigh in favor of allowing Let's Play videos, and thus they should be protected. YouTube should change its policies regarding these videos, or it might have a difficult lawsuit to deal with. So yeah. This is definitely a very serious issue right here. So, 
will YouTube ever be the same as it was before where we didn't really have to deal with copyright claims or ad issues or anything like that? Will we come back to like the safety of YouTube or will we further decline down the line to where YouTube will just, you know, keep going down the toilet? Who knows? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for the next video should I decide to do another update and let you know what else is going on.